Ford recently swung through Seattle with a bespoke Bronco, one equipped for wildfire duty, and with a little bit of Pacific Northwest style. Bronco's obviously been getting a lot of attention. This one should get even more because it's special in so many different ways. Since people just can't get enough of Bronco, I'm going to get out of the way and let the company reps tell you all about it and a quick look at a civilian model. First of all, there's heritage here. So Bronco has been used by the Forest Service in the past as a park ranger vehicle. It's been used by a number of other first responders as well. And so it has a great lineage serving this purpose. Um, I think the other thing is that just given what's been happening to our forests in the last couple years with all the incredible forest fires that have been hitting our national forests. We wanted to, to do something to try and give back. With the Bronco Wild Fund that we created and announced and us giving back $5 million a year, we're very excited to, to help leverage what Bronco is, that history, to, to give back. So this Bronco is based off our Badlands series, which is our most capable series. It has a front stay bar disconnect standard, front rear locking differential standard, um, so all the off-road bells and whistles. And then what we've done is this is, has the optional Sasquatch package on top of it, which takes the standard 33-inch tires and increases them to 35-inch tires and adds these beadlock capable wheels as well. This is, uh, has our Lux equipment group in it, so it has our 12-inch screen, connected navigation, all the, all the interior bells and whistles that you can get as well. Yeah, I mean, this vehicle that you see here today is obviously highly upfit. It has a lot of non-factory parts uh, attached to it. So if we open up the back here of the Bronco, you can see uh, the firefighting apparatus that we uh, installed in the vehicle. So this is a Kimtech uh, firefighting skid. It has a 50 gallon water tank in it. Uh, it's got a gas powered high pressure water pump and uh, this uh, bespoke reel here on top. And we've even kitted it out a little more. We uh, mounted a custom chainsaw mount here for our steel chainsaw. And we have a, a custom mount for our high lift jack as well in the back. It fit perfectly in the rear and we're, we're super excited how it turned out. So we announced this week that we're gonna be donating two Broncos, two Upfit Broncos with Wildland Firefighting Kit to uh, in need rural uh, fire departments. So that was part of our announcement this week and part of why we built this vehicle was to highlight that capability and, as well as that initiative to give back even, even on top of the, the Wild Fund money. Filson is a much-loved and respected Pacific Northwest brand. It teamed up with Ford for this concept. We started in 1897 here in Seattle, Washington, and have been operating here continuously ever since, first outfitting those who were headed to the Klondike for the gold rush, then those who worked in the woods of the Pacific Northwest, and now anyone who's up for adventure. This rig is absolutely an easy partnership for us with Bronco based on our shared histories with the U.S. Forest Service. So Filson actually outfitted the U.S. Forest Service as part of their official Class A uniform in the 1940s with our Filson Cruiser. And if anyone's ever spent any time out in the woods nearby or anywhere, you've probably seen a, a Forest Service green Bronco. What you're gonna find inside of this concept rig is a few pieces of iconic Filson uh, materials. So one to start with is our iconic otter green duct canvas that's wrapping the seats as well as the bolsters, the center console, there's straps up top for holding on, as well as these straps double as tie downs. So the roof actually rolls up, and when it rolls up, these straps come off and go over the top. Um, you'll also see little nods to the handles from our briefcases and our luggage, as well as our snaps that you'll find on our jackets and bags. Uh, the, the Bronco logo in the center is actually our bronze. You'll find that here on the goat mode dial. Um, and then you'll see the seats are a quilted leather that were inspired by the inside lining of a number of our jackets. Where can I get a Filson Bronco? Yeah, right now, the Filson Bronco is not something that's available to consumers. It's just a concept. We're excited to see that so many people are interested in, in having one themselves. The good news is, while it's not a Filson Bronco, we do have 
a number of limited edition pieces of gear that we've collaborated with Bronco on from our small rugged twill duffel, a water bottle, and a t-shirt with 50% of the proceeds of those sales going to the National Forest Foundation. So it's not a Bronco, but it is a little piece of Filson and Bronco together that people can get their hands on. Ford also brought along what you'll see more of this spring when Bronco starts roaming the wilderness of America. I learned long ago never to judge a design by photos or video. This is the first time I've seen the Bronco in person and I have to admit, it lives up to the hype. The size is good, not too big, but roomy enough to make long camping trips doable. I especially like the tie downs up front and have to believe they'd be good positioning markers from the driver's seat. I couldn't get inside this one, so I can't give you a look at the cabin. I do like the Filson treatment. Uh, keep in mind that if it does come to market, and there's no guarantee of that, it would probably be a premium model. Filson gear, much of it made here in Seattle, is not inexpensive. It's sort of the Louis Vuitton of the wilderness set. When you see somebody walking around with a Filson bag, assume they have some extra disposable income. Ford seems to turn to the upper left-hand corner of the country for special editions. Remember the Eddie Bauer Explorer? Clearly, people are interested in the Bronco. This is a rig that draws a crowd. I don't think we're necessarily surprised by the enthusiasm. We knew when we were bringing back a legend that there was going to be a lot of passionate fans and customers for Bronco. And we knew that when we brought the vehicle back, we had to deliver for those customers. On a personal note, I think this is super cool, probably because I learned to drive in a surplus forest service pickup truck, a Ford F-Series. So uh, I kind of hope they build something like this. It would be really neat to see on the streets. Thanks for watching, folks. Remember, subscribe to this channel for more Bronco and other updates. That's Driven. I'm Tom Volk.